Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Tuesday the 16th, and today was a rather interesting day weather-wise. Started off, we had rain overnight, um, turned to a lot of snow and sleet, and then it turned into tons and tons of snow. We had like just snow coming down like a demon. It was fairly warm in like the 30s, I think it was, like maybe high 20s, something like that. So it was making it super slushy, super heavy, and just gross and hard to move around. Um, got up this morning, went out, cleaned off the sidewalks and the driveways and whatnot, and whatever. And luckily, the last few times I've been out there when the snow plows been coming by, I've been out there like shoveling or sweeping or doing something out by the edge. So I'll slow down, they'll go around the area real slow. But when you're not there, which I wasn't unfortunately this time, they came by at like 40 mile an hour in a 25 zone, which makes no damn sense. How, why they get a speed, but whatever. And that heavy slushy shit just like threw it all over my yard and all over like two of my vehicles and just coated it. And the best part is it's now um, full of sand because they've been dumping sand on the ground for traction. They plow it all off there and it all hits my vehicle and my vehicle's now covered in sand. So I hadn't actually cleaned my windshield before I could take off today because I was afraid to use my windshield wipers as scratching the windshield. There's so much dirt and sand and junk on it. So that was um, definitely that part sucked. But I did get the um, driveway cleaned up. It warmed up decent enough. The stuff was actually melting so it was a giant mud sloppy ass mess I decided to go um, get my dog um, take him to the vet to get his anal glands expressed and um, one of those things he has to have done I don't know every few months or so and he's not gonna be stuck in a van with him for a while now on this trip taking off here hopefully if the doctor clears me very soon uh, I did not want to have the smell of that because it's a gross disgusting smell um, called a couple of the vets here locally and it was gonna cost me more money to have it done here in town than it was to pay the gas to drive up to Ottumwa, which is like a two hour round trip for me. It was cheaper to drive up there and have it done at his regular vet than it was to have it done here in town, which is just damn ridiculous. So went ahead, I'm really glad I went up there because he was uh, up, he needed his updates for his rabies and his temper and the update shots and whatever whatnot. So I got that all done. Um, so the fact I was thinking I was saving a little bit of money did not help because I didn't spend a lot more. But he's up to date now. I got all the paperwork. So when we take off on our trip, if for some reason we're like a dog park or somewhere, or if I want to have him um, boarded or something like that for like a playpen type play area with like an overday, you know, because like a day stay or something like that when I go somewhere, I will be able to um, show him all the records. So I got a new printout with everything up to date, which is definitely a good feeling. So got that done. Um, that went a lot of money. I also stocked Menards and bought a bunch of damn supplies I needed for the trip. Um, got like the sprayer for my dim dum turn into a shower. I got new shelf, all kinds of stuff. Uh, everything else I spent like a couple hundred bucks there is ridiculous. Um, bought some some supplies, some just junk. I bought some Twizzlers and some shit like that too. But basically just things that everything I needed, you know, well not everything I needed, but everything I bought was needed for this trip. So got that all done. Also bought a um, closet shelf type rail that is now mounted in the van. I've got to screw it down so it doesn't actually move. But I had to get it cut um, to make it fit. My buddy had a grinder, so I was able to use his grinder to cut it off up there, which worked out really nice. Um, went and had a cigar with him, hung out a little bit, um, finally hugged at home, um, got, basically went to the gym, changed out, went for my run. Didn't go real far, real fast, just keep my run streak alive is all I was doing. Got home, um, hung out some, got myself a shower, um, decided to eat something I was super I was super hungry even though I'd eaten a little bit already that day but I was just super hungry and um, ended up eating again and then I've been up now it's like 2 30 in the morning I've been up all night um, so far now just been packing shit been organizing stuff and figuring out what I want to take and what I don't want to take so all my clothes are um, packed ready to go my um, laundry my um, supplies the soap and that kind of stuff's ready to go bad toiletry whatever toothpaste all that kind of crap's all ready to go uh, only thing I got left to do is I need to probably grab um, some different shampoo because the shampoo I've got is really thick stuff that um, doesn't rinse out real well. And I'm going to be using like a handheld pump sprayer or like a solar shower, which I bought a solar shower kit also to heat the water up with. Um, I need shampoo that's going to rinse out easier so I can't be there for 20 minutes trying to get that stuff rinsed out of my body, out of my hair and that. So definitely um, checking that out. Um, just like I said, I've been up forever packing things and organizing stuff and getting things ready. And I'm just hopeful that it's all going to go well when I get it all packed up tomorrow. And if the doc doesn't clear me to go, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm losing my damn mind. I need to get on this trip. I've been planning it for way too long to not take it. So we'll see. Um, got some plans down in Florida area. i got to get down there pretty soon because there's um, a bunch of people want to get together, like Periscope people and kind of stuff want to get together. And also um, getting tickets to a comedy night and different things we got going on. So 
I want to figure that all out. I gotta get down there pretty damn soon so I can start uh, mapping out what the day's gonna look like and what the trip's gonna look like and all that good stuff. So, anyway, other than that, pretty much same old, same old. I'm going to try and get myself a little sleep, get up tomorrow morning, and if it's not nasty out weather, I'm gonna try and see if I can't get the bike mounted in my van somehow, some way. I still gotta get the dog um, food and water dish mounted in there so it doesn't keep falling over, and just some general stuff. I gotta put some curtains up. I got some other little things like that's gotta be done. But I got all the supplies for all that stuff to do. I just have to get in there now and do it. So. Anyway, that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.